Hey guys, uh, so I was just kind of going through the charts and um, I saw this, so I want to make a quick video. USDCHF, I love this setup right now. Um, this is a daily chart. It looks really, really ready to um, react at this level. So we've got the bottom of a zone, we've got the 200 EMA. Uh, my profit target would be the 50 EMA on the daily. So. Um, and maybe the 50 on the four hour actually because that's a major level so it's not like a big move so that kind of puts a damper on it for me um I'll just draw that in real quick hold on and i'll size it up properly on the one hour chart per usual this is an interesting trade though um for me, if you're not in early, you're too late for something like this. This isn't like a pyramid reversal strategy. I haven't even named this strategy, um, but I, I do like playing off of key levels every once in a while. Um, yeah, I'll have to make another video to, to try to see if we actually get into this, but there's potential here. I see the potential there and, uh, you know, you, you have to take that first trade. So it's like a breakout. Um, situation and the bad thing about the breakout situation is really um, you can get faked out pretty easily uh, we can have a situation like we did with CHF JPY um, oof, I don't even want to look at this I know it's gonna be ugly um, so with CHF JPY that problem was which one was it it was here this particular section so you can go to my old videos and see that why is it lagging like that anyways this was it we were kind of riding on this uh, one hour or I'm sorry uh, daily uh, trend line and I was waiting for like a pullback situation we had it here um, but it pulled back too far for me um, so I didn't take it and then it went the opposite direction and so it went up and uh, and then it just died out so <laughs> that, that's super frustrating whenever it moves around a little bit more than you want it to I just wanted a rejection I just wanted a rejection you know um, I wasn't able to take this move uh, long uh, because I was looking for like a rejection candle to get in and take it up smoothly so basically um, what I like to see in this situation is a very very smooth noticeable entry on the hourly chart on the intraday charts um, doesn't look like we're really gonna get anything like that um, and the only hope I might really have is something where we drop down and then pull back but then my risk reward is is a little off and my stop my stop loss is in danger now, right? So if I come down here and I'm like something like this or right in here or something, now I'm in danger of we pull back, we trigger in, it goes a little bit too far, I get stopped out, and then it actually goes in the direction I want it to go. You guys can see how that would look. Anyways, um, that's what I'm talking about. That's uh, that's kind of it. And uh, yeah, I... Uh, I look forward to talking to you guys uh, soon, and I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this closely, try to see if I'm, I'm right about the whole um, drop-down pullback overcorrection situation. If this is more like, a, you know, if you're in early, you're protected from that. So it drops down, pulls back, goes in, and we still, we bleed a little bit, but we get to ride that down. Different scenarios. I like to play this out in my head. I've seen it a million times. Um, and with this being like a, a change in trend, potentially, in you know, a first trade on a, a really, I guess it is kind of like pyramid reversal strategy, but just on the intraday level, it's not really um, strong enough to call it that for, well, maybe. I don't know. I like it being like a 20 day long uh, move. This hasn't even been, been 20 days. So I like to consider a trend 
a little bit longer than this actually before I can actually consider it a trend and it needs to be a trend in order for me to put it in the pyramid reversal strategy category anyways whatever I'm watching this um, there might be like a breakout trade I can take pullback situation I'm afraid of for a first trade so basically my only entry besides this one would be a drop down pullback drop down second pullback now we're confirmed that we're actually changing trends and I'm you know safe to get in there so that's like a next week or the week after next type of trade at that point anyways I'm rambling all right guys peace